You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. But when I pulled it out and said Pomplamoose, everybody started to laugh. So yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> what, what's, what's wrong with you? I think, Mike. Niche. Niche <laughs> words for you. Pomplamoose. Pomplamoose. One of the few French words I know. Mm. Other than voulez-vous coucher avec moi. That is a given. Ce soir. No. Yeah. No. So what are you bringing us from the world of showbiz? Well, this week in showbiz, we have some news about the Brit Awards. Mm -hmm. We've got some news about a new film that's coming out. Okay. Uh, we've got news about my BFF, Kylie. Okay. So that's pretty much what happens every week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. On screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website. And on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as people who have given us a cheeky like or shared one of our posts on social media scroll along the bottom of our screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Do you ever get public transport, Lee? Never. Never? <laughs> Back in the day, back in my youth... <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> wicker, wicker, wicker. Um, I would have to use public transport. Buses. Because of the trains, law. Meaning yeah, that you weren't allowed to drive. To drive <laughs> in those days, in my college days. And um, <laughs> Could you not get your hands on the Model T Ford? <laughs> uh, but do you know what? When I used to go to, to college on the train, uh -huh. it was they still had those proper old... <laughs> the hands are very up today. Quick, quick, quick. Um, they had those. They, they did. They had. They had the trains that had, still had the old compartments and the doors that used to sh oh, just like open and shut, <laughs> like <laughs> manually. Uh, yeah, okay. I loved it. Slam door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I used to pretend I was on the Orient Express uh -huh. to Bolton. <laughs> anyway, what were we saying? <laughs> I'm more concerned about your Orient. <laughs> was was it a steam train? No, it was it was an electrical or <laughs> to locomotive. <laughs> electrical? <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. Um, well, Scott Rail um, mm -hmm. have basically won hearts and minds of the LGBT plus community. Have they? Yes. By shouting back at, or is it snapping back? Clapping back is the word I was looking for. At um, someone who was having to go at their LGBTQI plus train. Oh, the rainbow train. Rainbow train, yes. So they shared a post for um, Trans Day of Remembrance. Okay. Okay. Including their, their train. Mm hmm. Uh, and basically, people decided that, well, some people, shall we say, weren't happy about it. Yeah. Um, saying, wasting time, effort, and money on performance activism when we could have, they could have done the job, which is getting people to work on time. They don't get people to work on time. Well, it's, it's the railway, so sometimes it's late. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, but basically, this, this person who I'm not going to name because, you know, I'm not going to give them. Airtime other than going there a cock one more. Um, Scott Rail basically said, We're not going to put up with this. Yeah. Us having an LGBTQI plus train mm -hmm. and supporting our trans sis mm -hmm. sisters, brothers, and siblings is the word looking for. Mm -hmm. um, is not going to devalue what we're doing. Did they tie them to the rails and run over them? <laughs> what, like a 1930s cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> like Olive Oil going, hey! <laughs> That would have been good. No, they didn't. No. Because that would have caused murder. But they said, to save more of you asking, our support for transgender people has no impact on trains running on time, but thank you for your concern. Which is basically a whole... It's not, it's not a train just for LGBT plus people. It's not, Anybody no. can use it. Anybody can use it. It's just, you know... It's just a train... Are you getting ready for Christmas? Not really. Not really? I'm bored of it. You're bored of Christmas? need something new. <laughs> you need something new. I need I, a new celebration. You know what? I've done 48 years of, of Christmases and... How dare you? Nights? No. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you use those words? Um, those numbers. Um, okay, I apologise. Um, 748. <laughs> I, I'm not. I, I'm just not in the mood at the moment. A lot of people are feeling that way. But also, a lot of people are like, have like put their Christmas decorations up in August. And they're like, oh, it's been a rough year. It's uh, no rougher uh, than any other year, uh, well, Barbara. Well, one woman has claimed that a delivery company has um, ruined her Christmas. What? Yes. Why? Um, so, Hermes, the delivery company... Ran over her. <laughs> no. She can't walk. No. no. Worse than that, <laughs> they left a parcel on her doorstep. Oh. 
Did What's it have that? a small baby inside? No. Named Jesus? No. <laughs> That's not the nativity story. Okay. Um, no, it left, left a, a parcel on her doorstep and they said it was delivered. She says, but it wasn't there when she got home. <gasps> Had somebody thieved it from her very step. We don't know whether it was stolen or whether it just wasn't oh. delivered properly or whatever. What was inside the um, package though, Mike? A pair of hair clippers. Oh. For a, for a boyfriend slash partner. And she said, because he then knows what's in there, because she, she was shouting at the delivery company about the clippers for a partner's Christmas present, that's ruined Christmas. What a sad little Christmas there, and I have. <laughs> There's nothing says happy Christmas more than some hair clippers, though. <laughs> like, Merry Christmas, I've bought you something to sort your, wet, your head out. Yeah, yeah, unruly quaff. Yeah, I nearly said so. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to say queef. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, we're assuming it's clippers for his head. He could have a very unruly bush. Okay. Mm, a pubic okay. mound. <laughs> pubic mound. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, um, <laughs> while Lee talks about his pubic mind, <laughs> mound, I'm just going to... My pubic mind? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> What's the outcome of this, Mike? Is she happy now? So the, the company have turned around and said, look, here's a new pair of cla- hair clippers. Get over yourself. Get over yourself, girl. Yeah. Friend. Um, dispatched by Hermes again. Um, but she got those. Okay. So, yes. So, Nicola from Birkenhead. It's all... Has now got those. Lovely so, clippers. All, all, is, all is good in her world. And she got a refund as well. So, she got three pair of clippers. Wow. I hope she's making... I hope they make good use of them. Not just use it on him. Extend the invitation to neighbours if you need your <laughs> pubic mound trimming. Bob round. Have a glass of eggnog. Have a miss a bit of um, mistletoe. Have some mistletoe. Have a, <laughs> a very different kind of party now. Have, some, have a mince pie. <laughs> let me trim you. We'll shave you. Trim your bush and then have a laundry yeah. for you for Christmas. <laughs> there we go. Happy days. Yes. Um, and on that thought, if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Good TV, and the website is the Good TV. Now that brings us nicely over to story of the week. Mm. Now we're going to talk lubrication. Okay. And I don't mean the oil you put in your car. I don't mean the oil you pay a man to put in your car. I don't mean oil that you put in a car. Yeah, I'm just, just yeah, realised who I was talking to. Yeah. Cars? Cars. <laughs> Petrol you put in cars, Mike. <laughs> the horse just needs some hay. <laughs> and it's fine. Okay. Um, well, this is the exciting news that KY Jelly have teamed up with a, a, a famous other brand to bring out a new flavour of lubricant. Flavour? Flavour. See, first of all, I'll be the judge if it's exciting or not. Or you, you'll be up for this. Um, is it Nutella? Oh, it's better than that. Oh, what's Krispy that? Kreme. Oh. Have come up with what they've called whole glaze. Is that a real thing? It is a real thing. Is it? It is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not believing it? I'm showing you a picture of it right yeah, now. Yeah, but the internet Honestly. lies. There's a, there's a selection there, though, isn't there? You can just have the... You see, I <laughs> would be going for the, 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 the lubricating, lubricating liquid. liquid. <laughs> it's the cheapest one. Yeah, because, I've, you know, I haven't got time for spending 16, 16 quid for, for a bottle of lube. <laughs> have a drink and get a good mouthful of saliva. That's all, that's all you need. But, you know, it isn't... It, you can use... Yeah. <laughs> I've seen yes. Robot Man's in. Yes, I know so, what happens. So please practice safer sex, people. <laughs> um, look after yourselves and each other. Don't just spit on each other and ram it in. No, I was, there's foreplay first. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> there's foreplay. Bringing up a cup of tea is... <laughs> I wish I could quit you. Ooh, in. That's it. <laughs> Um, so, yes, you can buy whole glaze um, okay. from KY Jelly. Does it taste of... Partner with Krispy Kreme. Does it taste of whole or does it taste of flakes? <laughs> <laughs> it already tastes of whole. <laughs> it's a... oh. That's the end of the post this week. Thanks for that, Mike. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glaze my hole later. <laughs> uh, you're very welcome, my dear. <laughs> Coming up next, we have Leah the showbiz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. Number two. 
We have some Brit Awards news this week. <gasps> Do you watch the Brits? I've, I've been known to partake in its entertainment value. Flick through the ones you don't really like. I, I tend to flick through the ones I do like. Mm, gosh. Anyway, this week, um, the Brits have announced that they're going to change the categories of their awards. Ooh. So they're going to scrap the traditional male and female. What, what were you, what? I was going to say, I was gonna say so they're scrapping the, the awards, so they're going to, like, a person that can eat the most pies in an hour. No, it's still about music. Oh. But person it's... that can play the flute with their JJ. The no, see, yeah. that's, that's not really Brits. So what they're, <laughs> what they're doing is that they're, they're scrapping the male and female traditional categories okay. um, to be more inclusive to non-binary performers. Ooh, that's good. Um, so it's, it's coming to place. It's going to be um, the, the next Brits, which is in February next year. Okay. So they've announced that um, it's going to be February 2022. Comedian Mo Gilligan is going to be the host. Um, it's been asked for by certain performers and mm -hmm. um, artists, particularly Sam Smith, who identifies as non-binary, uh -huh. and they missed out on um, a nomination last year. Okay. So they're going to be... Um, it's going to be, instead of kind of like best male, best female, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be best artist. That's good. So, And a lot of other sort of award shows across the world have done this anyway. So the MTV Awards, they did it in 2017. They replaced Best Male and Best Female with Best Artist. <laughs> um, and it, I suppose it kind of, you know, even in a kind of like very basic sort of sexist way, Best Male, Best Female, mm -hmm. it's like... Mm, Everyone's just, you know, everyone's a performer. It, it, it promotes that equality for all, which, yeah. is, which is better. Yeah. I'm thinking uh -huh. Kylie Minigu might get a Lifetime Achievement Award. I always get a bit weary, worried about those Lifetime Achievement Awards. It's like they've achieved everything they can in a lifetime, isn't it, really? Mm, up until that point. Yeah, so can they get a second one? They could possibly. I mean, they, they gave the Spice Girls one a couple of years ago, and it was like, really? They've achieved a lot, though, haven't they? Mm. They did a comeback tour. They do, yeah, well, they you know. They sold tickets. Mm. That was impressive. Mm. So we will see who is getting nommed this year. I love that um, phrase. <laughs> <laughs> who is getting nommed this year? Who's getting nommed this year? Nom, 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 nom. Next. Now, are you, are you a fan of um, musicals in the movies? Musicals in the movies? Or musical movies? I like musicals okay. and I like movies. What I'm a... not a massive fan of the... Cro of the of the, of the cross two, genre, of the, yeah. Oh. I like I like going to the theatre to okay. watch a musical. I'm what about that... if I went na 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 America na 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 America na 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 America? What would you feel about that? <laughs> I would say, look, be a lady tonight. Is that out of that film? Oh, okay, so um, Steven Spielberg has directed his first e. ever musical. <laughs> He's directed E.T. <laughs> e. in a musical. Okay, yeah. mm. it's called <laughs> E.T. Brackets jazz hands. That's what it's called. It is, no, it's not. This is the music is they've, they've redone West Side Story. Okay. So um, it's um, they've released a trailer for it. it. Looks all very swish and very glamorous, very sort of you know Steven Spielberg. There's no like monsters or aliens in it. Oh, I don't know though. It might be. I'm not quite sure. Um, any, any gassing of Nazi Jews and Nazism and things like that. I don't know about that. Oh, he also did that, so. Did they? Schindler's List. Okay. Quite a famous movie, that yeah, one. Yeah, I know, but no, it wasn't a musical. It, it wasn't, wasn't a musical. No, it right. wasn't, Mike. Um, therefore, I did not see it. <laughs> um, so, basically, it, they've not, like, up, updated it. It's still set in the 1950s. Good. They've just kind of given it a bit of a, more of a modern twist. I mean, the, it was originally, it was, it is based, loosely based on the Broadway musical. 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 Yeah. It's loosely based on the Broadway musical uh -huh. by Arthur Lawrence, L Leonard Bernstein, and Stephen Sondheim. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's the tale, it's kind of like a bit of a modern take on Romeo and Juliet. It is, yeah. Yeah. That's what, we're, 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 that's what West Side Story is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got lots of, lots of um, actors in it. Ariana DeBose, um, <laughs> David Alvarez. What? <laughs> it's got to have lots of actors in it, otherwise it's just scenery. Well, they might have puppets. <laughs> now that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Still, <laughs> loads of ETs. In different outfits. Who knows? It's just Kermit the Frog. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's coming. It's um. It's 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 also got Rita Moreno, who 
originally played Anita in the 1961 yes. film. I don't think she's playing the same role, yes. but it'll be a different role. Um, so yeah, that is coming out any time now. Ooh. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a huge massive fan of, of West Side. Story. It's, it's okay. It's one of those. It's another one of those sing everything musicals. Yeah. Yeah. Almost an opera. Is the is it the one where they go and have a fight? <laughs> is that not Guys and Dolls? <laughs> is it not? Is that not Guys and Dolls? Ooh. No, that's not it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, I'm not I, sure what you're doing. <laughs> I've lost it now. Are they, are they, do they have a rumble? Is that not guys? Let's have a rumble. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> That's a today. Is, yeah. is that guys and dolls? What am I talking about, Mike? I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's move on to something that I do know about, uh, that I have researched properly. Um, so... A needle pulling thread. <laughs> <laughs> Sound of music. <laughs> Kylie on. Minogue's gold hot pants, you know, from the spinning around video. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. They have been put into a museum because they are that culturally important. Okay. Got a picture of. Well, that's not her hot pants. That's, that's just that's Kylie, Kylie Minogue. Minogue. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she, what? The, the, they were in. It was two. It was in two thousand. Shut your video. whole mouth. Shut your whole mouth. <laughs> um, in two thousand. That so that's like two. That's like no, no. Don't, don't don't count. Don't count. Just don't okay, count. Just count. Don't and count. they originally cost 50p from a market in London. Her yeah. stylist found them. And, and yeah. So they've been put into um, the, the museum in Melbourne, Australia, where a lot of her stuff is gone. Why are you laughing at that? No, it's just funny. It's just funny. That's why I said Melbourne, Australia. Well, Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> um, they, because they love Kylie in Australia because she is Australian. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, they've got all sorts of stuff. They've got her. They've. They've, they've, <laughs> they've so well researched this. <laughs> Latest news, but Kylie you know is Australian. Uh, <laughs> Some people don't know that she's Australian. Some younger know. people don't know because she's always been English in England, doing English things. <laughs> so people don't, they go, oh, really? And, and, and she goes, no, crikey, I am Australian, like that. And they go, are you having a stroke, Kylie? And she goes, no, I'm not. Did you know she's got a sister called Danny that also does music and is also Australian? Are you being sarcastic? Mike? I am. Technically, I'm being facetious, but yeah. <laughs> so they've got. So what? Basically, what happens is whenever she does a tour or a video, she gives them her uh, outfits. Why are you laughing at me, Mike? This is very important showbiz news. The homosexual community are on the edge of their seats, going, "Shut up, Mike. Let Lee tell the story." <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not saying that is what no. they're saying. I'm just um, smiling along with the. So they've got things the like her overalls when she played Charlene in Neighbours. So yeah, so she, so they and they're all in kind of like they rotate them, um, okay. as in displays. Spinning around. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to get out of their way? Oh dear. <laughs> she also uh -huh. has a number of items on display in the Victorian Albert Museum in London. Uh -huh. I was not aware of this. I'm going there after this show. Okay. Um, yeah, so she basically, she gave them one of her dressing rooms. Not the actual building. <laughs> I've, I've given you a room. <laughs> the, the, the contents of the of the dressing okay. room. And it's on display in the Victorian Albert Museum. Oh. And she was like saying that she, she went there in 2019 to have a look at it. Because like once this tour ended, she kind of like said, oh yeah, you can have it. And she was like, she was there with a boyfriend and she was going, there are those shoes I've been looking for behind glass. And she was like, can I have them? And they were like, no, you can't. <laughs> You've given them they're, away. They're, they're part of our display. Get out, you dwarf. They didn't say that. <laughs> Because I love Kylie Minogue. Um, <laughs> oh, have you ever met Kylie, though? No. You've not? I, have I never told this awful, awful, sto awful, 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 awful story? Awful, awful story? No, no, I don't know what it was. It's about. the biggest regret of my entire life. Is this the one where, she, where you shouted at her and ran away? I don't know what? Where you shouted at her and ran away? No, I was in... Um, I was a long time ago, sort of like the 1990 time. I was in... Um, Great Ormond Street. I wasn't a child having treatment. I was there training to be to be a professional. <laughs> I was a poor child with rickets in my bed. Um, no, and they said, "Oh, we've got Kylie Minogue coming around this afternoon." So I was like internally like melting. Um, asked me to sit with this child who didn't have have parents with them, and she came up, and I thought, "We're going to be friends, uh -huh. clearly best friends." But the only way I'm going to manage this is if I play it cool. Uh -huh. So she said to this little boy, would you like a, a photograph? And he was like, no, had no idea who she was. Okay. So then she turned to me and she said, would you like one? And I went, no, nah, I'm all right. Inside, I'm going, you fool! Take it! 
and some of her hair, clone her, be best friends. Yeah. Um, and that, yeah, and it didn't work out. So to this day, we've, we've never, never had that BFF. But I do wear her gold hot pants. She doesn't know about them. <laughs> doesn't know about it's that. Stretched out now. You good luck display <laughs> nose. <laughs> They're now a thong. <laughs> no, no, it's like a huge tarpaulin that covers the front of the building. And that's the end of this week's show with news. Whilst the mental is nobody needed. <laughs> but stick around, because coming up next, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing straight acting. This is one is for you, Lee. Okay. So, off you pop, remove thyself henceforth from my presence. Okay, okay. Eventually. Just, yeah, destroy the site <laughs> while you're at it. Game of the Week. All he needs to do is act out what he's got on the card in front of him. Are you ready there, Lee? Yeah, just resting my furry bosoms, but you can't really see them. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> this is a person. Okay. Yes, the concepts, and you want my body. Tina Turner. <laughs> no. Some say it could be that it, the the male Tina Turner, but no. Um, you wee Sazanak. Uh, Neil McKinnock. Neil McKinnock? It's a politician from the 80s. Oh, okay. No. Um, oh, I've got my leopard print pants on. I'm feeling sexy. It's Mel B. No! No, sexy. Scottish. Oh, I put me and ears in my hair to make it sticky and spiky. Do you th <laughs> You're not Scottish. That was Scottish. But you're not Scottish, that's things that you say. Huh? <laughs> no. What was Buzz? It's Buzz. It's Rod Stewart. Uh... <sighs> oh, God. Um... Um, another person. Okay. Spike Milligan. Where's that come from? I come from the land of no sunshine. It's all so quiet. It's all so still. <laughs> I thought you were doing the Goonies. <laughs> From the British TV show, the radio show. No. The, um, yeah. Is it Bjork? It is! <laughs> that was quite... Uh, yeah. Oh, it's another person. <laughs> uh, another oh, I hate people. people ones. I hate them. Um, okay. The lady isn't for turning. I will take your milk off you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just threaten to milk me? <laughs> I will take your milk off you and your minds. Not your minds, your minds. Yeah. She didn't say that. Yeah, a bit. At the end, I had Is it the inventor of Mr. Whippy? You see, I don't believe that, but... You don't believe that Margaret Thatcher was part of the, the team that invented No, I don't believe that, and I don't believe that she invented the sausage skin either. Which Synthetic is sausage skin. She, apparently she was the part of the team that invented sausage skins. The synthetic sausage skin. Yeah, yeah not the real, not actual sausage skins. No. Okay. Yes, it was Margaret Thatcher. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, well yeah. done. You're looking a bit cold, Mike. What can I do? What can I do? Have you got? Have you got? Have you got? A, have you got some matches there? Have you got? Have you got a lighter? No. <coughs> Are you being take that? No. Okay. No. Um. You know. You know. You know. Oh, actually, I've completely read this wrong. <laughs> I'm going to go with the bit because I don't want to do the bit that is written here. Do it again. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> 
Mike, you're looking attractive today. Have you, uh, you been doing a new facial regime? <laughs> have you, facial. Have you, uh, you, you're looking refreshed. Are you, uh, are you busy later? For a little bit of, um, a little bit of chat, possibly something more? Chat, possibly something more? When was the last time you flirted with anybody? Do you know what? You know, would you, sir, would you like to see my you, ankles later? Have, <laughs> you, have you hurt yourself? What? Because when you fell from heaven, you must have banged yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you can't flirt. <laughs> oh, what's that? Are you what's... trying to flirt? Are you trying to flirt with me? No, more. That's, that's really worrying because that's... Um, are you clean? <laughs> have you hoovered out your back passage? today possibly oh sweet what what i don't i give up you give up i want to bum the co-host <laughs> now I, re I read that initially i read that as burn <laughs> that's just what i was talking about matches and stuff which is far more believable for me um yeah i'd quite like to set you aflame um <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, so just to, to clarify that, you you wanted to burn me. I thought it said. And you, you want me if I was cold. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it said you want to burn your co-host, but okay. it says you want to bum your co-host, <laughs> which is a different very, thing. Very different thing. Apparently, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Apparently. All right. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh no, that's not really. Um, that cowbag Mariah Carey. No, it's similar thing. I like, I, do, I like donuts. I like to lick them and put them back because they're stupid. Um, I got one less problem without you. Ooh, um, I've got no. Oh, I'm turning into my. I have turned into Michael Jackson. I don't know what's happening. Um, um, <laughs> um it's not Michael Jackson. Um. <laughs> um I've got no tears left to cry. She's not from she's not from the deep south. She's um, <laughs> um I need to brush my ponytail because I haven't brushed it today. And yeah. I like to sing songs. Is this a cry for help? No, no more than any others. Um um Oh, what else does she sing? Um uh, I don't know her other songs. Oh! I, I lick the donuts and put them back. I don't know what he said. Mm. Donuts and I don't know. I anything. think I'm Ariana Grande. <laughs> right. I'll take that attitude. Well, I'm sorry, sorry. You only know one of her songs. I, I and didn't... it's the song that I, I can't think of. Okay. Um, right. You're the Doppler effect. No, I don't know what that is. It's the sound of things or waves getting shorter and the closer they no. get. So it goes, and they're off. So you're doing the Doppler effect. No, I'm not. I'm doing a thing. No, that's actually what the Doppler effect is. I'm doing a thing. It's a place. It's a thing. It's a place. It's a thing. Pull into the pit stop. Take the wheel off. Put the wheel on. Are you flirting again? <laughs> no. <laughs> the winner is Woo! Pop the champagne. Yay! And the end. Um horse racing. No, it's the sound of a speedway race. <laughs> well, since when do horses go Nyaw! They since go when races since when do races go boop! Hey! No, they're popping the champagne. At the end, Pew! you know, when they stand on the pew, they? they do. I watched it once. <laughs> okay. Good day, women of of the house. Would you like something to to hoover vacuum one's carpets up? <laughs> You're having a stroke. No. Are you sure? <laughs> women, you've got nothing to do, old dear. We need to make the house welcome for one's husband at the end. What? 
Because <laughs> it started off in the northeast. <laughs> it went down the country and then over to Jamaica. <laughs> so it's, I'm not sure where you're supposed One to One can buy this and plug it into one's electrical outlets and hoover vacuum all of the debris from your rug. Yes. Do you want one then? <laughs> you flirted again, aren't you? No. You've just offered to give me one. No, no. But yeah, no. Comes in many attachments. It's misogyny. No, it's a 1950s television ad for a vacuum cleaner. I thought that was quite clear. Of course it was. Right, last one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Do, 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 do. No, hang on. Do, 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 do. Oh, mister, can I have a clamshell, please? With extra sauce. <laughs> That'll be. Is that a prostitution? <laughs> no. I'll ha Oh, isn't it hot? Oh, what, what would cool us down? Oh, let's have a 99. With sprinkles. Why? There's the. We could go and get something. Whorehouse. No. It is the summer, but inexplicably, we still drive around in the winter and park outside people's houses. The police. No. They may have that. Henry VIII. No, I'm getting annoyed now. Um, doesn't just it sells cold things, beverages, some of them may sell snacky treats, like crisps. There you go, Johnny. That'll be a threepenny bit. And, <laughs> and your eternal soul. Ice cream van. It is! It was the eternal soul bit that sold. Oh, because they're well known for that, aren't they? Yeah. There you go. We're all winners in that one, aren't we? I don't think anyone's a winner for that. But right after the break, we've got time for... Oh, no. I apologise, it's Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time we consider defenestration as we go to Lee and Crafty Queens. What does deforestation mean? Um, to kill someone by throwing them out of a window. So is that what you want to do? <laughs> okay. Well, better get on with this then before that happens. So we're going to. It's this that makes that want to happen. <laughs> that, I, do you know? I think I think you'll be pleasantly surprised this week because uh -huh. um, I think it might go actually quite well this one because one I have practiced it. As in, I have watched the full YouTube clip and not kind of just stopped it and gone, I can do that. Um, so we're going to make this week um, kind of like, um, sort of like um, a, a notice board type thing, but using strings. Oh, Ooh, isn't that exciting, that, Mike? So, so excited I might not pass out. Mm, so before you, you should have a, a, a large ring. I know I, you're I, used to those. I do have a large mm. hoop before and, my face. Uh, I have not made these myself. I have pre-bought them from the large ring shop. Um, what I would like to... You've got, an, you've got a big pile of um, uh, push pins. Stop it. Just stop it now. Push pins. I have push pins. Push pins. So... You, you, the different colours, you can you can choose one colour or you can use multiple colours. It's completely up to you. Okay. But what you're going to do is you're going to um, take your first push pin uh -huh. and where the top is on your ring uh -huh. um, with the with the little hanger thing, the little loop. Where my top is on the ring, yeah, yeah. You're going to push that pin uh -huh. into the ring. Okay. Okay. And then what you're going to do all the way around, so one thing, I'm going to, mm, I'm going to go two fingers. So like measure, <laughs> measure two fingers on your ring, right? And then put another pin in the ring. So, so two fingers. So once I've got my top on my ring. Yeah. I need to then just pop two fingers down. Yeah. Two fingers and then pop another ring, uh, pop another. Ow! Oh, sorry. I just stabbed myself. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> pop, an, pop another pin in. Yeah. And then another two fingers. So you're just going to go all the way round. Okay. Till, till, till you've got um, all the pins in. Because these are the... Th these are the things that are going to be like the anchors to the, to the string to the that we're going to use. Yeah, okay. You might have to just jiggle, figgle, figgle, jiggledy, figgledy. Jiggledy, figgledy. <laughs> jiggledy, figgledy. Is that a technical term? Yeah. I'm also going slightly off script, Haley. Oh, why are you going off script? Because you know you said to measure two fingers. Yes. Well, you... after you stabbed yourself measuring two fingers. I, I'm just doing it in opposites. Opposites, okay. Yeah, so well, if it doesn't work, that's not sides. my fault, Mike. No, but I will come at, out with all of my fingers attached. I it am... goes without saying, as I did not mention, please be careful <laughs> with pins. You do not want to stab yourself. Would that hurt, Lee? It did hurt, Mike. I mean, if I was a prop, if this was like a proper YouTube thing, you could speed this up, couldn't you? You could go, I'll be right back when I've just done this. Yeah, and it'd be good. And it would be good. Yeah, but it's not proper YouTube. It's so not, it's not so people are just going to have to sit and, and watch this. Good. So, we have, so you've got, you've got all your pins around the outside. Uh-huh. I have provided you with a ball of wool. You have yeah. indeed. I uh, roll off, to kind of peel up, reel off, roll off. What's the right word? Un Unwind. Unravel. 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 Quite a lengthy piece okay. of wool. I want it lengthy, not girthy. Yeah. And then just just snip it off. Get a length and snip it. And snip it off. Okay. And then tie one end of your um, length of yarn mm. to what yarn. You can, yarn wool. You can you can tie it to whichever pin you want. Because that was that. That's where you're going to start off. But tie it in a knot. What kind of knot am I using? What do you mean? Do you want me to do a half hitch or just any? Just a knot, Mike. Just a knot. Just a knot. Have we done that? I have just got knotted. <laughs> yep. Okay. Now you can use your imagination. Okay. Yeah, because what you what you're doing is you're going to take the le that length of string, uh -huh. right, and pull it quite taut, not like mega taut, and you can just decide where you want to go with it. Okay. And then wrap it round another pin. Uh huh. Right, and then take it to the opposite side because you're creating a pattern. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. I am, of course, making a pentagram. Um, for for my devil worshipping um, club. Okay. Um, <laughs> and just keep going. Oh, I, 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 do you know what, Matt? I'm impressed with myself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit like dream catchers. Okay. Only not. My, my string is knotted. So he, he got knotted. I'm going to have to snip that off and tie that but it's okay it's not a disaster it's not a disaster don't panic everybody nobody was panicking there. at home they were all yeah we're just gonna i'm just gonna tie that off in a knot and then just retie the string how are you doing Fine. how are you doing don't ever do that again <laughs> it's a lovely thing that you could perhaps do of an evening by the by the deathbed of a loved one. Um, I think if I was by the deathbed of a loved one and they saw me doing this, I'd be out of the will. <laughs> I'm just preparing this to put all the memories I've got of you. So I'm just gonna snip snip that off. Snippy snip. You can use you can use wool. Wool is fine if you want to well, use because we're using wool. Yeah, but if you want to use ribbon. Oh no, I wouldn't want to use ribbon. Why not? Oh, I don't it's a bit fancy, that, isn't it? That's too fancy, that. Um, and you can go, you can keep going for as long as you want to, as long as you, because I, I 
I think I'm quite happy with my. Oh no, I can't be happy because oh, because all the pins uh -huh. need to have some um, wool connected to them. What happens if they don't? It's the end of the world as we know it. Yeah, and I feel fine. So we, you need to make sure that so. each one has a a thing on it. This is thrilling, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, on a level of making some old tud out of tinfoil. We're just making some old tud out of something else. Yeah, but at least it's doing it properly. Well, you say properly. Do you think you're nearing completion? Uh, I could. can be quite close to finishing. Finishing your hole? Your ring? Uh-huh. So yeah, so you can just tap when you when you when you feel that you've Life done has no meaning. Yeah, as much as you as you're happy with, just tie tie off your bit of string, make it taut. So I've got my lovely fret. Oh look at that! It's, oh, it's beautiful. Well, what we're going to do with this? You, I have provided you with a number of tiny little pegs. We're, going, we're pegging. Yeah, so what you do is you put your pegs on to the threads uh -huh. any way you want to. Because what you would do is, if you had like a number of jobs to do in the week, yep. and you needed to remind yourself, uh -huh. you could just pop a little note on a peg. Um, so, I, so for example, one of mine would be, I've, I've got it here, my one says, don't forget to get... Milk and eggs. Okay. Okay. Um, another one might be, um, oh, this one here. This one says, um, pick up dry cleaning on Wednesday. Oh, I do mine on a Thursday. That's not going to work for okay. me. Okay. Need a different peg for this one. And then this one, I'm just going to, I'm just going to peg it on. Please stop saying pegging. I'm just going to peg it on and just let the viewers read it. Okay, how are we doing? I, I've I've pegged I've pegged, pegged myself quite a lot. You've got there's a lot of wool on there, Mike. I'm a busy guy. Busy guy, busy things. Yeah. There we go, and I think to be fair, I think that was quite successful. We did well. Well done you. Well done me. And that's the end. Oh no, hang on, because I have to say it, don't I? They got all excited. If you can't get any peen, be a crafty queen. My nipples are there. I feel this smock. I'm pegging you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, YouTube and podcast. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Just let me peg you. No. I'm let you're letting me peg you, so you're not even flinching. You're not pegging you.